What's up ladies and gents, today I've got a special video for you under my Assassin's Creed Chronicles India kind of walkthrough. So what this is going to be is going to be behind the scenes on how I actually make the video. So this is going to be for mission number six. As I go in here, I'm going to show you guys that we've completed the first five and we're on to six now. So with that being said, as you guys can see, I have not completed six yet. So this video is going to showcase me going through the level grabbing the sync point, the animus shards, and the chests, and trying to figure out what the best way to get around is. There's going to be a lot of uh, restarting checkpoints and whatnot to find the, the perfect routes so that when I go back through it to record an actual video for you guys, that it is a hopefully one smooth sequence. So with that being said, we're going to get right into this. With memory sequence number six, this is a special rare look at what it takes for me to do a video in this series. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and let's do it. Now I skip the cutscenes. The reason I skip the cutscenes is because I don't want to know about the story until I'm watching it for the first time as I actually make the walkthrough. I just want to worry about the gameplay right now, so I skip the cutscenes to show you guys. So it looks like we got the silent assist. Uh, let's do it. Always bring up whatever information that we unlock here. And I look at the map to see the what type of layout it is. Look, we got a big layout. We're going to be heading over there. A few other sections over here. It looks like this was a pretty long one. Alright, let's get right into it. Now once you do that, you can actually look at the map again and things will show up. Like there's um, Helix. Uh, okay, so there's one collectible, there's two. So I'm only seeing two collectibles on this first section here. There's three, there's a chest, so there's four, there's five, six, second chest, third chest, seven, alright, so I'm seeing seven, so yep, seven animus shards and three chests, so that way I know where everything is. Like how he just don't died all of a sudden. With any of the dead. Just make sure the Afghans don't break through. Alright, so this is great. That means the enemies won't actually focus on me anymore. Use the helix dash to avoid being seen while moving between hiding spots. So, because of this guy, we can use the helix dash. I think you just pressed that button there. You, stop. But, as you can see, I messed it up by moving out of there. So, that's how you know. Um, when you do the, the helix dash, there's a specific way that you have to do it. And it's only good for one. Alright, so we're past that point, so we can sneak by this guy. Pick up whatever we want, I guess. Alright, I'll constantly check the map to make sure when I'm coming up on one. Alright, so it is below in a cavern. Alright. I like how it's finally telling us that you can drop. So... There it is, right there. Uh, Lieutenant's advanced version of the sergeant will sometimes block light front attacks. Well, we never actually go through attack anyway, so... Question is, I don't know if he can see... Oh, snap. Gotta hurry. Alright, so we did that. So we got the first one. Is there any reason for me to go inside where that is? I don't see any reason to go in there. Alright, so with this guy... He is always looking in a direction, so this is someone that we have to... to get his direction and motivation somewhere else. And you can see that we can't do any of that until we get onto his level. What was that? So simple as that, alright. Next up, we are done. We've got the only ones that were over here. Ooh, that was close. 
This might be... Yeah, okay. So this one's gonna be a little bit more different. We need to hurry up and get outside. So as soon as I see that checkpoint there, then I know pretty much what to do. And of course, everything automatically saves, so we don't have to worry too much about that. So we can get in here. We're probably gonna have to wait. Since you can tell where his is. Nah, we're not gonna make it. Identify yourself. So you gotta be really fast. So as soon as we get in there, we gotta go in there and then actually get around. Some of these you can figure out, you know, on the first time, whatever, but others takes a little bit more time to figure out. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. We're gonna see that in the amount of time that he's taken to move over there, if we can get into... Here, just barely. And we probably could get up right now. So that's one opportunity. It looks like there's enough time. Alright, so we figured out the way to get around him. Find hidden messages. We gotta figure this out. So find hidden messages. So I don't see them showing up in the actual map itself. Usually there's always a secondary objective. But I'm not seeing that. He's got a key. I still don't see anything about hidden messages. Blow up the ammo cache. That would take out the tower. One of these guards must have the key. All right, so we already knew that. Oh, there we go. So now one lights up. So he's directly below us. That must be the hidden. Somehow there's a hidden message there. The Afghans have spirit, sir, but they will never break our line. All right, so I see that we got a guard there. We've got a collectible there. So sometimes I'll just rush over to the collectible to get it. But in this case, I'm going to wait a little and kind of study their movements and see what they do, how much time I have to drop to do one thing or another. From what I can, Our spot is no, can't do that either. There is a potential danger from the outcome. I can do this though. <laughs> ah, see, there's no way. It's a little bit weird, so you have to wait till him to be there, and then do it. Oh, he can drop down and grab it. Yeah, that's not going to work. We're not going to be able to get by him that in that manner. We still need to go to the left, because we got to pick that up. Alright, so we figured that out. Nope, because he's going to see us. Yep. So as soon as he turns around. I don't know if there's going to be enough time. All right, looks like there's a way down. The, men the last thing we need in a situation like this is a bloody panic. Will do. 
Hopefully we'll have the Afghans pinned down soon. Probably don't want to get up just yet. I don't know how long they're going to be in that state. Now, my question is, does he look over the balcony or not? If he does, then we'll need to quickly get over here. He does. Who's that? That's so that changes things, obviously, now. Of where we can hide. But we already got the, um, the collectible, so therefore we don't need to go all the way to the right side. Oh, shit, not of... Whew, that was close. And drop down. All right. So we're good there still. We figured out the, the fastest way to get over into here. He shouldn't see us from this point because of where we're located. But this is also, it looks like, a quick way to get up. Okay. All right, so we got the hidden message. Now, right there is probably a good time. We could have, as soon as we got that, actually go and grab the the note or go and grab the key. That seems to be the the best time right there. But another good time would also be right here. We could, as soon as he turns around, go grab the uh, grab the key, come back, get the note. So that's another you know form of of doing it. Just like that, and then keep keep going down, and then we can, of course, grab that right there, just like that. So now we've got that down. We've got plenty. Do you think we'll need it? There's no reason to restart the checkpoint since we already know what we need to do in that situation. Looks like this is a room we can get into. All right. That being said, we're in a new room. Uh. But you do see that there are some things up there. Our next objective that we need to go is actually down here. So it would have been prudent when we were up there to go out the door, grab that. So with that being said, we are going to restart the checkpoint. Even though I think it's only going to take us right here exactly. Um, so we did exactly what we need to do. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's see if we do... Whatever it is that we need to do here first. Okay, I'm trying to think where can I escape from. Oh, I, I see it. Yeah, that's not going to work for us. Maybe it will. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Yep, no, we can get there still. Okay. Okay, and we have not a lot of time in order to... I didn't know how far we needed to escape, but now we know this is not something that we would even be doing. We wouldn't have to worry about getting the collectible that, we're, that we don't have yet. Yeah, this sucks. I don't think we can get it. Unless there is a way to get back over to there, I don't think we're going to be able to do it. There is going to be a way to get back over there, but I think there's too much space in between those two. So it looks like that's a collectible that we are not going to be able to collect right now. And we can't, unfortunately, the checkpoint, the way the checkpoint system works is, you know, these are things that you have to figure out. You don't know what you can grab and what you can't grab, wrong memory, at any certain time. What part is going to, to bring the mission on further? So we have to do a little backtrack and go back to the beginning, but that's all right. We've got our, you know, route kind of set up for the initial portions. <laughs> Concern yourself with any of the dead. Just make sure the Afghans don't break through. Again, you can always take these guys out if you want to, but you know that's never my option. Don't hit the RT while you're in this state, or else he will see you. So that's something you have to remember, and you can fill up whatever you lost. So what you're seeing now is probably exactly how I'm going to do it on the actual walkthrough. So 
so I'm not even sure why they even mentioned him. Since he can't see you anyways. Alright, this is the one where we need to get a... Up in the up position. See, it's not like it took us that long to get back to where we were anyways. Just enough time to make it. See, I always test myself to see what the limits are. He turns around, doesn't see us. <laughs> Got it. All right. This is still not the penultimate um, route coming right up here because I still got to grab that chest. We know that those guys automatically die. The Afghan, if I could blow up the ammo cache, that would take out the tower. One of these guards must have the key. So, we gotta do the same thing that we did previously. Because we need to head out. Alright, so technically we could just restart the checkpoint if we wanted to because we're good to go. You stop. But this is also another route, as you can see. I just showing you guys different things that you can do. This will take us over to this side, which is not really something that we want to do anyways. So we won't be coming over to that section because we don't need to since we've already got the collectibles. So again, I'm showing you how to get the collectibles. You can see that we already got that chest, so we don't have to worry about it anymore. And we can go our normal route again. You! Stop! He just barely saw. So you gotta watch out when you're jumping off of things. Sometimes you can accidentally stick uh, by hitting the B button twice, so make sure you only hit it once when you're dropping. The Afghans have spirit, sir, but they will never break our lines. So, yep, we take a little bit of damage, however, we still live, so that's not a big deal. And actually, we should be able to get ourselves back up. Grab the key. Got it. And we're good to go. And you can see we're back up to full health again because if you don't go below the one, then it'll recharge itself. And just to be on the safe side, I want to make sure that I got everything. And it looks like we did. I guess uh, you could say this is the anatomy of a walkthrough. We don't need the helix, so. All right, so now we're in a new spot location. Now the guards are looking for me. I have to be careful. He looks down. How far does he look over? Is the question. Obviously we have to jump. He might stay right there. So I usually wait here for a few minutes just to see 
if I have to use some type of... Alright, so what I'll do is I'll try this one first. That just gets him in my direction. I'll go through, see which, uh, which, whatever we have. See, this is my point. We'll be able to get over here before he even turns around and looks. So we'll have enough time. But it's always good to look. those lamps should help me pass unseen. All right, make sure there's no... There's a primary. Right above us, there is one. So you can distinguish them somehow, probably by using this. Can you get them to hit themselves? Let's see what happens when they're both looking away and I just throw that. Alright, yeah, so that isn't... And see how their, their vision actually went shorter. So that's cool. We do, however, need to go up and then back. But there also is... Do you guys see this? Alright, I'm guessing that is a no. It almost looks like you can shimmy along the other side to the right, or left, but I don't think you can. So he decided to move now. Changed it up a little bit. Alright, so uh, let's see if we can hit this one. Okay. I don't see a way for us to get around him. Is that something we can grab at the top or not? I almost want to say you should be able to grab those boards up there, but you can't. But this is something you ain't going to need to worry about. So let's just throw a... Since we ain't going to have to worry about him, we're just going to just take him out. Alright, so now that we grab that, we can should be able to restart the checkpoint. We have four. And you can see we still have four. So it automatically saves. We're good to go. Go ahead and refill up. We don't need to go back and get that shard again, so therefore we don't have to go and waste our time. And as soon as we come up here, he automatically goes there, so we need to get up here. Throw another one. And we're good to go. It's always fun figuring these out. Alright, next up. I wonder why that's still lit up. That's where we came from, right? <laughs> Alright. Look around for messages. I see one right there, I think. Alright, now that we're on this side, we've got a message there. We've got a shard. Can't grab that, you're gonna have to go from the top. And of course the tricky jump down. You gotta use your eagle vision. He has some smoke grenades, so we're gonna go ahead and refill. Actually no, I guess we're can only carry two at a time, maybe. Alright, so with this guy, they're both looking in that direction. What can I use? You'd almost think you can grab this thing on the bottom and then go make a big jump, but I don't think so. Um, I'm not really seeing... Alright, so what could I do in this situation? I could get his attention there. What was that? The moment I do that, he's going to have to be over here. See, he sees me automatically. So when I do it, i got to get back to the other side. 
as you can see, there is a lot that goes into effect when you're playing a game like this. When you're doing walkthroughs for people on YouTube, it's not, uh, you know, yes, if you're doing a Let's Play, you just go right through it and then you just move on. But this is, this is a walkthrough channel. We only do some games blind. And I like the challenge that this requires. So, alright, I could use a free one here by just getting his attention there. Must have been the wind. I didn't do it in time. Okay, so there's not gonna be a lot of time. Can I get him? Yeah, I can do it from right here. Sweet. Why didn't I even think of that? All right. Get the noise. Nope. Maybe I'm here. Ah. That was <laughs> that's my bad. Let's do that again. You gotta you gotta place it perfectly and you gotta do it perfectly. So what I've noticed when recording with Shadow Play, um, if the video goes past a certain amount of time, the audio gets out of sync. So I have to actually manually go in and sync back the audio. It's a little annoying, but Shadow Play at least gives you the best quality for not you know totally crapping out your system. All right, so I think we got it down. So he saw, okay, so there's not a lot of time. All right, so this is something that might take us a few times. We might have to use one of our knives instead of the whistle. I want to try the whistle, but the whistle doesn't get him in another direction long enough for me to make the other moves. Or maybe I just need to be a little faster. All right, so let's get all the way over as far as possible. Ah, see, you, oh, it's so difficult to um, to get it exactly perfect. I didn't actually want to move over to the to the right, but it did it because I just pressed too many buttons at once. All right, here. Who's that? See, you gotta, you have to wait. I think he just waits too long. So, there's two options I can do. I could do another whistle while I'm waiting for him to go around, and that might get me around, and it doesn't waste anything. So let's try that. Ah, huh? oh, see, so you didn't. Huh? There. And he's going to see me right there. So yeah, there's not really anything I can do for that. It's it's all based off of timing and doing it perfectly. That's just how this game is. And that's what I love about it, you know. Stealth games are always based off of timing, learning things. You don't just go into a game and you're just amazing at it with stealth. That's just not how video games work. A lot of people think that they should be able to go right in if they watch somebody. But you have to practice it. It takes time. Alright, so what I'm going to do is maybe this will get him enough. Yep. So even though it is wasting two, it seems to me that's going to be the one that's going to get me in. And I can always go over here and let's see if he has what we need. No, we still only have two, but we got around it. Alright, so I'm seeing two different ways. We can go up to grab that. There's also one straight down. Uh, let's see about going down first. This is, uh, yeah, he's gonna see me. All right, but we already got it, so we will never have to worry about that again. That's this is this is why it's very very tricky to do it the way that you see me doing it. 
Because you got to get the collectibles first. And you can tell that that's really the only option that you have. That's going to hit him. Alright, so I can already see what we need to do here. You can grab that. Alright, you can see there's a tiger there, so we cannot, I repeat, we cannot go that way. When we do the actual walkthrough. What am I looking at as far as... There's a jump period right there. Will he hear me? That is the question. So if I were to come up here, from there, and I'm going to do this jump. <laughs> Alright. So, we got another one up there. Don't go too far forward. And he can't see us. Make sure I'm not skipping anything. Let me get to go. Identify Oops. yourself. So he saw us, but I'm not sure how. He was looking down, not up. The good news is, this is going to be the route that I'm going to do. Don't even need to worry about taking out that one. Good to go. Ah, I almost missed this too. I did not see it. You can barely see it. So we got three of them now. This guard can hear and see things... See? Ah, I see his yellow. So, what are we going to do? He's not in yellow right now. Okay. Alright. Wasn't 100% sure where to go, but now we know. And... We're good in this area. Got it. Increase smoke ammo too. <laughs> this one doesn't give us a lot of time. Woohoo! -hoo. Definitely doesn't give us a lot of time. What do I see? We got one there. Ooh, this is definitely going to be a challenge. Constant state of high alert. That's not really going to be a challenge. I won't even need to use this. I'm only using this method right now because of getting this. When in actuality, I won't need to waste that because I'm just going to jump from one side to the other. All right, where is the advantage of going up or down? Down could possibly get us into there. However, up. Ooh, I don't know. Let's check down first. All right, that's just a way. Yeah, there's nothing there. Always got to look. These cannons could prove useful. All right. So we still have all the way down there. One, one left. Yeah, one, one of each left. However, there is still two more and I have not seen them on the screen yet. Once 
Watch out for that guy turning around. I'm probably not going to make it. I made the wrong choice. But I wanted to see something. Okay. I just saw that way up. Wait till he turns around. No sense of opening the door so they see me right away. Ooh, that was close. So he does a little quick turn around there. I wouldn't let me see how it won't let me put my legs up. So what can I do? Maybe I have to jump from that point. I love figuring this stuff out. Is that a no? see this here now Help! oh he looks okay now I never paid attention to see if he looked before all right so I pretty much almost got my my route down So the next one I'm testing is this one. Will he see me right here? Or no? This guard here will prove trouble. Only to grab this right here. wait because he's probably going to turn around. Yep. Wait for him to do his thing. How do you even grab it? Ah, you have to. Yeah, we're going to have to get his attention because the only way to grab that is from the outside. Can you do it from the other side though? Let me find out. If I open the door, get on that one, can I go back to the other side? What is that? Help! Yes, got it. Okay. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. That should be all of them. Yes, all that's left is the chest. And the chest is all the way down. Remember, it's down. Okay. Still a little concerned that we have two more hidden messages. I'm afraid that I might have missed one. Hopefully you guys are enjoying a little behind the scene look at what you have to do in order to uh, to get shadow and gold in this game. We can actually get pretty close. From what I saw, he doesn't look too... Yeah, that's about the... Right there. There is the up method as well. You have to be super fast there. I think that's the only thing that's going to keep him from seeing you. Maybe I'm here. Maybe you are. There's another one. Yes. We'll make sure none of them get Alright, so automatically we can't just head straight down. We won't have gone they don't talk for very long. Damn, we need to root him out before he causes any more 
Easier said than done. They're a craft village. Managed to survive in one way or the other for centuries. Centuries? Yeah. I heard a story about them in China. Almost wiped out, but managed to clean up. Now they're meant to be thriving. See, that's weird. See, that time they didn't do that. See, now they do it. <laughs> that's, that's so weird. Alright, so they move when you don't start the checkpoint, when you're just going normally, automatically. Who knows? All I know is that until he's dead, things will be a bit tense. Everyone will be on alert. How did he manage to disappear like that? One moment he was there, next, gone. That's what they do. Vanish like thieves in the night. Bet they'll double the patrols now. Got the duty all hours. With them assessing around, I'd rather be awake. I'm still a little concerned that we haven't been able to get down here and grab this chest. I hope that's the direction that we are heading in. I didn't see another way down there. Alright, nothing there. Yeah. Uh oh. Hmm. weren't expecting that, were they? Okay, so now we're going back over that way. Here! So that won't work. I tried. Maybe if I do it a little quicker. No, not because the checkpoint it won't it won't allow me to do it quicker. I'm not skipping anything. All right, so figure that out. I can't see the last. There it is, I see it down on the bottom and the chest is down there with it right below it right there sweet I need to take out these guards before their reinforcements arrive really we got to take them all out we need to stay sharp we won't have gone no one will get through damn assassin Yeah, I'm not so sure how I'm going to be able to do this the way that I do it. Well, that's one way to do it. I mean... Come 
I don't think that's gonna work. I'm trying to do it non-lethally. I should not have done that right there. What? I have no idea how that just passed. I know I killed one at the beginning, but... So we can't use the wheel yet. Centuries. Centuries? Yeah. I heard a story about them in China. What was that? A couple of hundred. Ooh. What was that? Here! Aha, uh -huh, see? The sliding into is the, is the hardest thing in this game. I think what I should do is pick up the chest first before I even try anything else. Not that he's got any sense he would. We're on to him now. Somebody would be sure to spot him if he back this way. How did he manage to get through in the first place? So as long as we stay at ours, I don't like the way they are. Okay. I'd rather be out there looking for him. That guy saw me. Alright. I can't... How did he even get lower? No. Not if he's got any sense, he won't. We're on to him. Somebody will be sure to spot him if he comes back this way. How did he manage to get through Okay, we got the chest. Alright. All's good. We've got all the collectibles now, and we can actually get to our mission. So now we can really, really figure out what I'm going to do. So last time I checked, we could actually do this. There. Nope. Okay, that time it didn't work. Let's see if we'll try it one more time. And see if I wait just a little bit. Yep. Somehow, miraculously, that works. That's the only problem. He turns around right at the, the time that we need to get up on him. So we're going to take the advantage of going into the little chasm before. As you can see, you can see it right there. How did he manage to disappear? Okay. With an assassin around, I'd rather be awake. <laughs> As you can see, smoke is the best method. The only problem is we only have one smoke left, so we need to go into this mission with a total of Four, if we can. We need to stay sharp. He won't have gone far. Damn assassin. We need yeah. to Now, uh, maybe if we could get the one. Oh, did it too soon. No. How did he manage to get through in the first place? Somebody must have. Alright. I'd rather stay here when I know what's in the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
don't know if we'll pick up what we need. Yes. If he stays right there, then we're good. We didn't even have to waste one. You don't think the assassin we had in here will come back this way? Not if he's got any sense. We're on to it. Somebody will be sure to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just enough time. We got plenty of time, so I wanted to refill in case there's another big fight coming up. But can't get anything there. How do we get? We did the hidden messages, all the collectibles, good to go. And with a little bit of time to spare. Oops. Nope. All right. All right, well, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a day in the life of Center Strain 01 when it comes to doing walkthroughs such as this. Maximum points possible. And uh, sweet, so now uh, I'm gonna actually take my about 14 minutes, 23 seconds to get through it. So I don't have to worry about the chests, I don't have to worry about the shards, I can actually go through it a lot quicker. But now that I've got the strategy that I need to do in order to accomplish the mission, uh, we should be good to go. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this informative video of me completing the mission for the first time. And of course, I will see you on the actual mission. Peace out. Bitches!